Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make the matching skirt for our previous mesh vest. Uh, this is a very easy approach, so even if you are a beginner, don't get intimidated. If you haven't yet checked out my previous tutorial of the mesh vest, please make sure after this video you just head straight over to the mesh vest tutorial. So this is a very simple approach, but it can be a very classy look, especially when worked in bright colors like white, yellow, and sky blue so um today we shall be uh, making this cut it's a mini version but you can make it whatever length that you want it can be a maxi version and uh, we're going to be using the mesh pattern as you can see here it's not a very small mesh it's just something that's moderate not very big and not very small holes if you would like the written pattern for both of these pieces, they are available on all my online shops. You can check them out in the link in the description box below. Uh, today, the materials that we shall need are yarn. The yarn that I'm using is Marina. It's a double knit yarn and I needed about a quarter of this ball to make the whole project. Then um, this yarn recommends a 3.25 to a 4 millimeter crochet hook. So I'll be using a 4 millimeter crochet hook for this project. And then uh, you also need a measuring tip. And then you'll need a dunning needle to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors. So let's jump into the video. We are going to take our hip circumference measurement. And that's what we shall be using for this tutorial. So make sure you get your hip circumference. And let's get started. So you're going to grab your yarn and your hook and you're going to make a slip knot. So for a slip knot, you just roll over your yarn like this and then insert your hook, yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through. And then at this point, you can pull the tail. So now we are going to make a, a, a chain that can get that circumference that we got. So you're going to just make a chain, a very long chain in multiples of three. So this is how we chain. We just yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And you're going to continue to make this chain until you have the measurement that you got in the beginning. So for my sample, I'm, I am going to consider a total of 150 chains to go all around my bust because I want a very comfortable fit. I don't want my vest to be very tight and I don't want it to be loose either. So I will go for 150 chains for a size small. I'm between a size small to medium. So. So I have my 150 chains, or uh, if you did another number of chains, you should make sure it's a multiple of three. So now what we have here, you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted. Make sure all the stitches are facing up. And we're going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain that we made. I don't want my yarn to get caught in here. So you're going to go into the first chain that you made with a slip stitch. So you just insert your hook and pull through all. So that's how we wind up our foundation round. And you should be having a circular loop that looks like this. Now we are going to start working around that loop, creating the coverage for our lower vest. So uh, we're going to start off with a chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that counts as a double crochet, chain three. Now you're going to prepare for a double crochet by yarning over and skip two chains. Skip two chains and into the next chain, we're going to place a double crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop. You will have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that will create our very first loop. Chain three, 
skip two chains, one, two, and into the third, we're going to place one double crochet. I hope you still remember how to do a double crochet. Chain three, prepare for a double crochet by yarning over, skip two chains, and then one double crochet into the next chain. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. Make sure I chain three, skip two chains, and one double crochet into the next chain. So repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the beginning of my round one. Somewhere around here. Okay guys, I'm coming to the end of round one and I have a few chains left. So I'm going on with my pattern of chain three, skip two chains and then one double crochet into the next. And then I have two chains left, as you can see here. Now I'm going to chain three, skip over those two chains and then I'm going to go into the third chain of the first chain six at the beginning of the round. And I'm going to make a slip stitch there. But before you make a slip stitch, always make sure you cross check the very first round so that it's not twisted. So the moment you achieve that, you're going to chain one. We're going on to row two. So chain one, turn your work. Make sure you're always working in the opposite direction of the previous row or round. So after your slip stitch here, you're going to make one slip stitch into the first space. So insert your hook and pull through all like that, and then slip stitch again into the same space. And this will bring you to the middle of this space. You're going to chain one, and single crochet into the same space. So that's a single crochet here, and this will count as our very first chain. Just consider it as a chain. So instead of chain six, we are going to make a chain of five because this single crochet counted as one of the chains. Then from here, you're going to make one double crochet into the next chain three space. This time we are not placing the stitches into the chains. We are placing the stitches into the chain spaces. So chain three, one double crochet into the next space. And you can see what this is creating. It's creating a really beautiful mesh pattern. So continue to do that, chain three, one double crochet into the next chain space. And repeat this all the way around, and I'll meet you back towards the beginning of your round, somewhere around here. So we're coming to the end of round two and I've placed my last double crochet into the last chain three space, as you can see here. Now you're going to make a chain of three and go into the second chain of the first chain five. So one, two, and you're going to go into that second chain and slip stitch there. That marks the end of round two. So you can see um, the same line is going to be around here, but it's going to be like alternating between this side and this side, but in a straight line. We won't have it move diagonally. So that's the reason why we are changing uh, the direction of the round for each and every round. So let me show you one more time for round three. I'm going to make a chain of one, 
turn your work just like we did for round two slip stitch two times into the very first chain three space so slip stitch two times there this will bring you to the middle of the chain three space then you're going to chain one and single crochet into the same space so after your single crochet there you're going to make a chain of five and then you're going to go into the next chain three space with one double crochet and then we're going to make a chain of three double crochet into the next space chain three double crochet into the next space and you're going to go all the way around doing this and I'll meet you back at the beginning of your round just to show you how to wind up one more time so I'm coming to the end of round three and just like round two uh, I'm going to just make a chain of three there and I'm going to go into the second chain of the first chain five of the round so into that second chain you're going to insert your hook and yarn over pull through all so that is a slip stitch so you're going to continue repeating round two until you get the length of the skirt that you want now uh, for me I continued until I got a total of um, 26 rows because I'm going for the mini version of the skirt and uh, this is a total of 26 rows right from the beginning and now you're going to chain one I've already chained one at this point and uh, you're going to cut your yarn I don't know I placed my scissors so you're going to just cut your yarn and pull through that marks the end of the body of the skirt now we're going to go ahead and place a drawstring in the waist band or the waistline of the skirt so what you're going to do is to make a long chain so just a normal chain of a, around 200 chains so So I ended up doing a total of 250 chains and this is what I have and we're going to pass it through the very first round of mesh. So place your work in a way that um, the seam line is in the middle back of the skirt. Um, the length of my skirt is about 15 inches when it's not stretched about 15 so if I stretch it of course it goes longer but the fact that the hips are going to stretch it sideways uh, you're going to make sure that you get the length of the skirt this vertical length without stretching it because the skirt itself is going to be stretched sideways not lengthwise so the moment you're done with your drawstring you're going to go in and out of every mesh space so you can even get a dunning needle and just use the needle to go in and out of each and every space this is going to help us get an adjustable waistband as you can see here just go in and out from the very center of the skirt all the way around until you get back to this point Alright, so when you make it all the way around, you're going to have something that looks like this. This can be adjusted. And you can choose whether this string is going to go to the back of your body or the front. 
so you can just adjust it and make a knot at the front to get a tighter fitting around your waist waistline uh, when wearing the skirt or you can loosen it up in order to get a loose fitting around the waistline so this is basically it you can add tassels to the bottom uh, side of the drawstring or you can add anything attractive like shells beads or whatever you wish to add I'm not going to do that because I'm not in position to I don't have any accessories here but you can also make tassels using uh, one of my tutorials I'll be leaving it on the screen for you guys to try out if that's something that you want to give a try to then um, this is how the back side of the skirt looks like you're going to get a dunning needle and weave in all your ends and cut off these extra loose ends and that's basically it we have a matching skirt for our mesh vest that we did last week and yeah this is basically it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next one bye